Hey everyone, I'm Liz Fairy, and today I'm going to show you how to add wings to your crochet dolls. I made two different styles of wings, these feather wings, and these dragon wings. Both of these wing styles are a variation on the same technique. First, I'll show you how to make the feather wings. To make these wings, I used some white yarn from Red Heart Brand and a size E crochet hook. So using my white yarn, I'm going to create a slip knot. Then I'll chain 12 to create the foundation chain. Next, I'm going to chain three more and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook to create a pico. And now I'm going to create my actual row of stitches. Into the next six stitches of the row, I'm going to create a half double crochet, and I'm not going to work into the last six chains of the foundation chain for now. So yarn over and pull up a loop, then pull a loop through all three loops on the hook to half double crochet, and mark that as the first stitch. Then I'll half double crochet into the next five stitches. and mark the last stitch. Now into the next two stitches of the foundation chain, I'm going to slip stitch to begin the next row, and neither of these slip stitches will count as a stitch. Next I'll turn the work, and then half double crochet into the third chain from the hook, which was the last stitch that I marked in the previous row, into the middle loop of the half double crochet stitch only. I'll leave the front and back loops free, to create a line on both sides of the wing. Then I'll mark that as the first stitch, and half double crochet into the next four stitches, again in just the middle loop. And I'm going to skip the last stitch, which was the first stitch that I marked in my previous row, so that my wing gets gradually smaller as I work. Then I'll turn the work, and just like in the row that I just made, I'll skip the first stitch on this side. So I'll work my first half double crochet into the middle loop of the second stitch from my hook. and mark that stitch as the first stitch. Then I'll half double crochet into the middle loop of the next three stitches, and once again I'll mark the last stitch on this side. Now I'll begin the next row the same way as before, I'll slip stitch into the next two stitches of the foundation chain, Then turn the work, and half double crochet in the middle loop of the third chain from the hook. Mark that stitch, and half double crochet into the middle loop of the next two stitches. And skip the last stitch of the previous row, which was the first stitch that I marked in the previous row. Next I'll turn the work, and once again I'll skip the first stitch and half double crochet into the middle loop of the second stitch from the hook. Mark that as the first stitch, and then half double crochet into the middle loop of the next stitch. Then 
Now to begin the next row, I'll once again slip stitch into the last two stitches of the foundation chain. But instead of creating another row of half double crochet, I'm going to chain one and slip stitch in the third stitch from the hook and into the next two stitches. And now I'm going to create gradually longer feathers along the outer edge of the wing. To create the first feather, I'm going to chain three. And then slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. And then slip stitch into the same stitch that I just chained up from when I started this feather. For the next feather, I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Then chain three. And slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. Then slip stitch in the same stitch that I just chained up from. For the third feather, I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch. Then chain four. And slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. Then half double crochet into the next stitch. And then I'll slip stitch into the same stitch that I just chained up from. For the fourth feather, I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch, then chain five, and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Then half double crochet into the next two stitches. For the fifth feather, I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Then chain six. And slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. And then half double crochet in the next three stitches. Then I'll slip stitch into the same stitch that I just chained up from. For the sixth feather, I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch, then chain six, and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Then I'll half double crochet into the next three stitches. And then I'll slip stitch into the same stitch that I just chained up from. To make the seventh feather, I'm going to slip stitch three until I get to the tip of the wing. Next, I'll chain three. And slip stitch into the third chain from the hook to create a pico. Now I'm going to slip stitch along the other side of the wing into the next four stitches.
Then I'll create one more tiny feather. So chain three, slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, and next I'll half double crochet into the same stitch that I just chained up from. Then I'll finish up the wing by slip stitching into the remaining 10 stitches of the row on this side. Then I'll cut off a long tail, which I can use to sew the wings to my doll. Next, I'll show you how to make the dragon wings. For this style of wings, I'll be using color changes, so I have two different colors of yarn here. I'm using red and orange yarn from Red Heart Brand, and a size E hook to make these wings. Feel free to use any color that you like. So using my red yarn, I'm going to create a slip knot and then chain 18 to make the foundation chain. Next, I'll chain three and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook to create a pico. Then half double crochet into the next stitch. And mark that as the first stitch of the row. Then I'll half double crochet into the next eight stitches. Just like I did when I made the other wings, I won't work into the last half of the foundation, so I'll leave nine chains of the foundation chain unworked. And I'll mark that last stitch of the row. Now into the next two stitches of the foundation chain, I'm going to slip stitch to begin the next row, but I'll make my second slip stitch using my orange yarn to change colors to orange. Neither of these slip stitches will count as a stitch. Next, I'll turn the work, and then I'll half double crochet in the third chain from the hook, which was the last stitch that I marked in the previous row, into just the middle loop of the stitch. Then I'll mark that first stitch, and half double crochet into the next seven stitches in just the middle loop. I'll change colors after the last half double crochet. Then just like when I made the other wings, I'm going to skip the last stitch, which was the first stitch that I marked in the previous row so that my wings get gradually smaller as I work. So I'll leave that stitch open, and finish with a stitch of the new color. If you want to see more about how to color change, you can check out my color changes tutorial. Then using the new color, I'll create a pico. So chain three, and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Since I added this pico, I'm going to begin the next row a bit differently. Instead of skipping the first stitch in this row, I'll skip the last stitch instead so that the wings continue to get gradually smaller. So I'll turn the work, and half double crochet in the middle loop of the next stitch. Then 
Mark that as the first stitch. Then half double crochet into the middle loop of the next six stitches. Then I'll skip the last stitch that I made in the previous row. To begin the next row, into the next two stitches of the foundation chain, I'm going to slip stitch, and just like before, I'll make my second slip stitch using my orange yarn to change colors. Then I'll turn the work, and half double crochet into the middle loop of the third stitch from the hook, which is my marked stitch. and half double crochet into the middle loop of the next five stitches. Then I'll change colors after the last half double crochet, then skip the last stitch, which was the first stitch that I marked, and then I'll create a pico. So chain three, and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Now I'll turn the work and half double crochet in the middle loop of the next stitch. Mark that as the first stitch. And then half double crochet into the middle loop of the next four stitches and then skip the last stitch that I made in the previous row. Next, I'll slip stitch into the next two stitches of the foundation chain, making my second slip stitch using my orange yarn to change colors. Then I'll turn the work and half double crochet into the middle loop of the third stitch from the hook. and then half double crochet into the middle loop of the next three stitches, and then once again I'll change colors after the last half double crochet. Then I'll skip the last stitch, and then create a pico. Chain three, and slip stitch into the third chain from the hook. Now I'll turn the work and half double crochet in the middle loop of the next stitch, Mark that as the first stitch, and then half double crochet into the middle loop of the next two stitches. Then I'll skip the last stitch that I made in the previous row. Next, instead of beginning another row with two slip stitches like I was doing before, to create another row I'm just going to half double crochet into the last three stitches of the foundation chain. Then I'll turn the work slightly and work a row of slip stitches along the other side of the foundation chain. First I'll slip stitch into the first 12 chains, then I'll create a pico by chaining 3 then slip stitching in the third chain from the hook. 
Then I'll slip stitch again into the chain of the foundation chain that I just chained up from. And then slip stitch into the next 8 chains of the foundation until I reach the tip of the wing. Here I'll create another pico, so chain 3 and slip stitch in the third chain from the hook. Then slip stitch to the next chain at the tip of the wing, cut off a long tail of the yarn, and use that tail to sew the wings to the doll. And that's it! I love the way both styles of wings turned out, and I'm excited to try making more winged dolls in the future. This time I used these wings to add to a unicorn and a dragon doll. You can find a link to my unicorn and dragon tutorials in the description below, or if you like, you could use one of my other doll designs. You can find a link to my doll videos in the description as well. What would you use these wings to make? What other types of dolls do you think I should try? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you made a doll using this or any of my videos, I'd love to see your work. You can find my social media links in the description below, or tag me on Instagram at LizFairy. If you liked this video, you could press the like button or share it on social media, and if you'd really like to help out the channel, you can donate to my Patreon. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos early and ad-free. Find out more at patreon.com slash fairyrings. You could also subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!